Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Story Time. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Are you ready? Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Good job, here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Good job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two, here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job, everyone. Today, we are going to be reading about sheep and the thing we get from it, wool. So we get wool and it's made into sweaters and hats and scarves to keep us warm in the winter. Are any of you wearing anything made of wool right now? Maybe you're wearing a nice toasty sweater. Well, let's sing today about sheep. So our word of the day for bread and butter will be sheep. And for our bread and butter rhyme, we clap our hands and we clap our knees. And we keep a rhythm like that. Clap our hands, clap our knees, clap our hands, clap our knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say sheep as fast as we can. Sheep, 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 sheep. Good job. Sheep, 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 sheep. How's it going at home? Sheep, 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 sheep. Not too bad. All right, let's try another one. Are you ready? Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say sheep as slowly as we can. Sheep. Good job. Let's try that one again. We'll start out with an S H, a good sh noise, and then the two E's, sh e, and then a P, sheep. Sheep. Good job. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say sheep as loud as we can. Sheep. Good job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say sheep as quiet as we can. Sheep. Good job. All right. So our first story today is going to be Farmer Brown Shears His Sheep. So Farmer Brown Shears His Sheep is by Terry Sloan and illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Farmer Brown Shears His Sheep. Here's Farmer Brown and here's that sheep and that sheep looks awfully surprised, doesn't she? Oh, here's the farmer getting ready. Farmer Brown was shearing sheep, piling up a snowy heap of wool that fold the shed knee deep. Clip, clip, buzz, buzz. He took their wool and left them fuzz. You see what he's doing? He's cutting off their wool. So here's the sheep at the beginning. They're all fluffy. And then he's shearing off their wool, which means he's cutting off their wool. And then here they are. Look, there's even a little naked, <laughs> naked sheep butt over here because he takes their wool off. So they're fine, but they are ready to grow new wool. So a lot of times they have that taken off in the summertime so that they will not be so hot and then it'll grow back on and be ready to make nice things like your scarves and your hats and your mittens and your sweaters. He filled his bag up one by one with fleece, but when his work was done, clouds had covered up the sun. The sheep saw all the wool in sacks and said, Bah! We want it back! Uh-oh. Can you put the wool back on the sheep? No, you can't. Soon the farmer's sheep were shivering. They followed him. He was delivering all the wool to Mr. Green, who washed it out, wash, 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 and combed it clean. Comb, pull, comb, pull. He cleaned and carded all the wool. Their fleece made such a fluffy sack. Bah, they cried, we want it back. 
The sheep went running cold and shaking behind the farmer. He was taking all the wood to Mr. Peel. Hmm, I wonder what Mr. Peel is going to do with this wool. Who owned the finest spinning wheel? Twist, hum, twist, hum. What had their fluffy fleece become? Ah, huh, can you see? Look, it's gone from wool, all fluffy, and he's spinning it, and now it's long strings. What is it becoming? From fleece to yarn. From fleece to yarn, it stretched and changed. Bah, they said, our wool looks strange. Chilly sheep with goosebumps crying rode right behind the farmer flying down the road to Mrs. Muller. Hmm, I wonder what Mrs. Muller is going to do. Who changed the yarn from white to color. Dip, dye, dip. Dry, the yarn grew bright before their eye. Do you see lots of colors here? What color do you see on the screen? We have greens and oranges, pink, blue, yellow, all kinds of colors. So she takes this yarn and you see in her pot here, she's dyeing it right in her pot so that she can change it from white into different colors. And while it dried upon the rack, one sheep cried, Bah! Let's take it back! <laughs> and look, uh-oh, they're all taking the yarn. What's this? The farmer asked the sheep. You're tangled up from head to feet. You're shivering cold and turning blue. So back to Farmer Brown's they flew. I think Farmer Brown has a plan. What might his plan be? Can you guess? What might he do to help them since they're so cold? Hmm, let's see. He found his favorite place to sit. Then Farmer Brown began to knit. Knit, purl, knit, purl. The farmer's fingers looped and twirled. Crowded on the porch together, trembling in the nippy weather, they watched him knit. And when he quit, he put a sweater on to fit each sheep, and then he buttoned it. What do you think? Look at all of their sweaters. Here they are. Each one has their own colorful sweater made out of their very own wool. The sheep grew nice and warm again in bright colored cardigans, in patterns made from red and green and every color in between. Now each year, come shearing time, the sheep wait eagerly in line to feel the clip and hear the buzz. Here they go. And wear bright sweaters over fuzz. And do you see at the end here is the farmer's farm with all his animals? But it's not just sheep who are wearing these sweaters. Can you see any other animals? We have horse. What about a chicken? A cat? What do you see? <laughs> Great listening, everyone. Excellent. I have two sheepy stories for our songs for us to sing today. One of them is a new one I just learned, and it's to the tune of Five Green and Speckled Frogs. Do you think you can put up five fingers? One, two, three four, five. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Five white and fluffy sheep in the pasture fast asleep. Their wool kept them cozy all night long. Snore, snore. Can you make a snore noise? Snore, snore. Good job. <laughs> the farmer slipped away with one and sheared the wool when he was done. Then there were four fluffy sheep. Ba ba. Now we have four, four fluffy sheep because one of the sheep has been sheared, so it's not fluffy anymore. It's gonna go away. Now we have four. Can you count them together with me? One, two, three, four. Good job. Four white and fluffy sheep 
in the pasture fast asleep, their wool kept them cozy all night long. Snore, snore. The farmer slipped away with one and sheared his wool when he was done. Then there were three fluffy sheep. Ba ba. Let's see, there's three. One, two, three. Can you hold up three fingers with me? Good job. Three white and fluffy sheep in the pasture fast asleep. Their wool kept them cozy all night long. Snore, snore. The farmer slipped away with one and sheared the wool when they were done. Now there are, how many? Now there are two fluffy sheep. Ba ba. Can you count them with me? One, two. There's just two more sheep left to shear or to cut the wool off of. Two. Two white and fluffy sheep in the pasture fast asleep. Their wool kept them cozy all night long. Snore, snore. The farmer slipped away with one and shared the wool when he was the wool when he was done. Now there is one fluffy sheep. One white and fluffy sheep in the pasture fast asleep. The wool kept him cozy all night long. Snore, snore. The farmer slipped away with him and sheared his wolf when he was done. Now there are zero fluffy sheep. <laughs> Good job, everyone. That was great. I thought we also could sing Old MacDonald and start off with our friend, the sheep. Ba ba. What do you think? Can we sing Old MacDonald together? I have our sheep and then three other animals. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, everyone. Now let's see what animal is next. Oh, who do we have here? What animal is this? It's the cow. And what noise does a cow make? Does it say moo, moo, moo? That's right. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, everyone. Let's see what our next animal is. Oh, what is this? It's a chicken. What noise does a chicken make? Sometimes we say cluck cluck or buck buck buck. That's right. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a buck, buck here and a buck, buck there. Here a buck, there a buck, everywhere a buck, buck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job. All right, our last one is a little tricky. Do you know what this is? This is a rooster. Do you know what noise a rooster makes? A rooster makes a fun noise. It goes, or do you think you can make that noise too? Good job. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a rooster, E-I-E-I-O. With a cockadoodle here and a cockadoodle there. Here a cockadoodle, there a cockadoodle, everywhere a cockadoodle. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> Great job, everyone. That was excellent singing. I think it's time for our second and last story. We have Ba Ba Black Sheep. And Ba Ba Black Sheep is by Jane. Ooh. Her name is in cursive. It's a little hard to read. Let's see. Jane Cabrera. Jane Cabrera wrote Ba Ba Black Sheep. Oh, look, we have another person here knitting away. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Three bags full. And look how fluffy that sheep is. 
She's so big, round, and fluffy. So yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for a hat, and one for mittens, and one for a messy muddle for the kittens. Oh, look, all the ways to use yarn. Hat, mittens, and look, for a toy for a cat. Can you think of any other ways you can use yarn? What else can you use yarn for? I bet we might see some of those ideas inside the book. Let's see what's next. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for a swing. Oh, look, the swing is tied up with yarn. One for a swing and one for a vest and one for the bright blue eggs in the nest. The nest is made out of yarn too. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for the shepherd and one for Bo Peep. Look, they each have their own knit sweaters. And one for lots of small and soft sheep. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. Oh, look, the sheep is starting to get smaller, isn't she? She's getting smaller there. I wonder where the yarn is going. That's going to all the other animals and people that are getting different things made, the swing and the sweater, they're all being made out of the sheep. So as the sheep goes, the sheep is going to get thinner and thinner with all that fluff. Oh, and I think I can see some people watching too. Is that Bo Peep back there? Let's see. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Three bags full. One for a beard and one for a wig and one for a tea cozy for a pig. <laughs> Those are silly ways to use it. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for the children and one for the misses and one for a baby all covered in kisses. Can you see the baby's all wrapped up in a swaddle? Baba black sheep, have you, oh, any wool? See, does the sheep have any wool left? Doesn't look like it. No, miss, no, miss, no bags full. Baba black sheep, thank you for the wool. Thank you, thank you for many bags full. Sorry that we took it all. Sorry it's all gone. Until your wool grows back, please put this on. What did she make for him? Let's see, she made, oh, a hat? What else do you see? There's a scarf and it goes all the way down here. It's a really long scarf. What else do you see that might be made out of wool? There's a dress, a dress made out of wool, and look down here, two little socks. The end. <laughs> Great listening, everyone. And do you see anything similar about our two stories that we read today? They were both silly stories where when the sheep got sheared, someone made them some sweaters. <laughs> the end. I think it's time for us to get up and do a little dancing. Do you think it's time for head, shoulders, knees, and toes? All right, come along. Let's dance together. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, everyone. Do you think we can go a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Good job, everyone. It was so wonderful reading with you. See you all next week. Bye-bye.
Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and no, eyes and ears and mouth and nose and poop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Bye-bye. See you all next week.